Hey guys, Heck Your Ice here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper Series 1, episode number 11, with an asterisk. So, yeah, I went ahead and uh, you'll see that we, we're here at the trailer, which is to be expected, because that is where we left off. However, my recording software updated, and unbeknownst to me, it added a feature. It kept all my settings the same, except for one little thing. There was a place where I had the checkbox and I had to uh, manually select microphone. Well, I did not know that. So I did an hour episode where I did not have my microphone recording. So it's basically a silent movie. Um, anyway, let me tell you what, uh, let, let's get to the comments here for the for the prior episode that I read in that, uh, in that episode. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and start from here. I'm not going to try to go back and post comment over top of the other video. Um, I did that once in the past. It was kind of funny because it was so disjointed, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue on because I'll explain why here in a minute. Basically, I checked out all of Desolation Point and uh, got a couple little things here and there, but nothing too too much. So anyway, Patrick3751 in the prior episode, not the one that I recorded, obviously, says, I say search the warehouse first and use any available daylight after that to read so you can bed down there for the night and make it back to the lighthouse the next day. I did that. I searched the uh, warehouse and um, did find two uh, packs of matches and uh, also stayed there for the night and uh, tested out uh, the knife and the can little uh, question I had. I was like, I still thought you, even if you used a knife rather than a can opener, you still lost like 10% of your food. I tested it out and I was wrong. So you, you can use a knife in, in place of a can opener and you still get the full amount of calories. So, all right, uh, DeCrow88, my advice is to first check the processing plant. Uh, I found a lantern and can opener. Can, didn't find either of those there. That would be useful. Also, you might find some food and scrap metal. I did find both of those. That you can use to repair your hacksaw. Uh, you can then read there and sleep through the night. I did do some reading. I think I'm. I only have about three more hours left in uh, the deer dressing. Uh, how to how to dress a deer book or whatever it is. So that'll be beneficial when we head back to um, when we head on back to coastal because there's two deer on the way at the. Uh, um, the connector. All right. Anyway, I'm enjoying the series, especially now since you found a maple sapling for a bow and made the arrowheads. So yeah, I did, I did, uh, drop down, drop the uh, maple sapling down and let it cure while I was reading and sleeping and things like that. And I think it's up around 26, 30%, something like that. So Zen thir three, one, seven, maybe he should make his way to mystery lake next after the processing plant. I don't know if there's much worth staying in desolation point for, I agree. Having searched it, uh, I haven't played on Interloper, but it would, but would still there still be a decent chance for a magnifying glass or fire striker at the camp office. I hope so. That w that might be worth just going to Mystery Lake Four. Is just make sure you hit the camp office, Trapper Homestead, because there's going to be something worthwhile in one of those two locations. Plus the Hydro Dam. Um, I'd I like to go in the Hydro Dam with the uh, bow and arrow ready to go, though. That's the only thing. So I might do. I might make the bow and arrow before I actually head over to the Hydro Dam. All right, Emmanuel GT Five. I'm sure this would have been mentioned before, but there is a chance to find a bedroll in a stone church. At least I found them in other modes. Not sure about interloper. I checked the church, and there was no bedroll there. All right, so here's a status report. We're uh, thirsty. We're hungry. It's 44 degrees in here. We do have 250 calories on board already. There's only two hours of darkness left, and conditions at 84. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a drink, right now. and I will show you what my status is. I'm ready to head on back to... Um, too coastal, but uh, I was pretty overweight, and uh, I do need to make some tough decisions here as far as what I want to carry and what I don't want to carry. So let's take a look here. I got eight pounds of uh, cedar firewood. Uh, probably don't need to carry that with me. <laughs> uh, I will go ahead and drop that. Um, heavy hammer. I'll probably leave that actually in the... I know it can be used to break down furniture, but I do have a lot of whetstones. I did find another whetstone, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I did find another whetstone in the processing plant. Uh, bandage, found that in one of the cars. Uh, searched the cave with one of the flares. That's the flare that I used in the, in the lost episode. Um, and then as you can see here, maple sapling is 27% cured. So, picked up some more rose hips. And, uh, here's, I don't need the, fr I did pick up this frontier shooting guide. That's just going to be, uh, stuff I can burn. And then here we go. We are three hours away from completing that field dressing your kill book. Uh, also, let me see, what else did I do? Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Picked up a lot of firewood along the way. Um, check Katie's Corner. Check the abandoned mine. Check the stone church. Went all the way through the abandoned mine. Um, check the gatehouse. Um, check the processing plant. Um, so anyway, I was ready to head on out, but uh, I didn't want to have to. I, I was going to stay in the lonely uh, lighthouse, but at the last minute, I decided not to because there was a patrol wolf. So I decided to take the mine and search the mine and sort of shortcut my way back here. So I am too. It's too. Uh, I don't really want to break down any more wood either, uh, but it's too dark to. Too dark to. Uh, I guess I could just break down wood. No, I got calories on board. I don't want to do that. Uh, normally, I don't have calories on board. But, um, so I, I think I will actually just pass time because it's too dark to read. All right, so let's do this. Hopefully this is recording. If not, I'm going to be so upset. All right, I should have done a little test video, but I didn't. Um, let's do two hours pass time. All right, looks pretty nice. Let's see if I can read now. Might as well while we're here. Oh, and here we go. 14 days, 22 hours, 16 minutes. There we go. That's for Kim Mary. Kimberly Mary. All right. Um, yeah, let's see if we can read. Maybe I can get another hour in here. Yeah, there we go. Gotta eat soon. Oh, can't focus on research when you're this hungry. So I didn't even get credit for that partial amount of time, I don't think. Okay. I guess when you completely blank out your uh, calories, you can no longer eat because you can't concentrate. Hmm. All right. Well, um, we're back to uh, 86 pounds. That's only 20 pounds overweight. Not too bad. What I do want to do is I do want to get out of here and try to make it over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay along, way out on the water. I'm going to take the water all the way around as much as I can just to avoid getting ambushed on the road. Um, so let's, let's see if we can do that successfully. Oh, here's some more rose hips. Completely missed those. All right. Yeah, I felt so bad. I was like, that was that was a nice little episode. Nothing too eventful, nothing too crazy, but uh, didn't get attacked or anything. And then I went to, and it was like 57 minutes long too. I actually gave you guys like a super long episode. And um, then I was like, are you kidding me? There's no audio. Oh, the one place I do need to still check is that the back part of that island, Hooters Island. I'm gonna call it Hooters Island for obvious reasons. So we're just going to travel a little bit heavy here. Um, I don't know. I'm sort of my thinking on the hammer is if I take it back to use it to break up furniture, I'm going to have to carry it back out here next time I need it. So am I really saving that many calories or anything? And I have a lot of whetstones. I think I will just leave it with the forge. I will leave it here just to save a little bit of weight. <clears throat> and I am filming during the day. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I had family come in from out of town. My niece, who had been in the hospital for about two months, um, <clears throat> she had some. Uh, she had a, so she's battling anorexia, and uh, she was actually hospitalized with an EG tube and things like that. Down to about 85 pounds, but she's doing really good now. After going through the treatment and everything, she's back up to 105. Her goal weight's 115. It's great to see her uh, doing well. And uh, so, as a reward, initially they were supposed to come out and visit. But then, then when they had this huge, uh, uh, I'm just going to put it right at the front door, I think. When they had this huge uh, scare with the, when they discovered it, um, they had to cancel the trip. So this was her reward for doing well during, during her treatment was to come back out here. And so I, I got to visit with her, and um, that was nice. But then also, man, on Sunday night, I wasn't working that night. The day shift officer was heading home at 7.30 at night. Our shift gets done at like 7. Or we sh we ch we're we 12 hour shifts and we switch at 7's at the 7's. Can't feel so he was going home at 7 p.m. And he got out of there about 7.30 at the station. He's on his way home and, and now it's dark outside because of winter and the time change. And on his way home, um, he's about a quarter mile from the station, still in the village in a dark area of the road. And... Uh, there was a lady that, wow, that deer just jumped right up on over that, that rock. That was pretty amazing. Was good on you. But um, a lady in, in, who was walking her dog went out in front of his car, out in, outside of a crosswalk, and he struck and killed her and the dog, um, unfortunately. She, like, went up through his windshield, and uh, he tried to do CPR and everything, but it was futile. So he's uh, it's being investigated by the Highway Patrol. 
Uh, he wasn't in uniform. He wasn't in a cruiser. He was in, you know, playing civilian clothes in his regular car. And, um, anyway, I know him. Uh, I'm just, you know, thoughts and prayers are going out to, to him and his family. Having to deal with that, that's so tough. And, of course, her and her family. It's just a tragedy all the way around. So, anyway, there's that to, that we, uh, have to deal with as a department. And then, the very next morning... The other, he was a day shift officer. Now the other day shift officer, we only had two of them on the opposite uh, days off, um, just up and quit. So uh, that was horrible timing. And so we didn't have any day shift officers. And now we have two midnight shift officers on the two midnight shifts. So we have four officers total. So I ended up having to go to days. And I, I know the other officer who's on days has seniority over me, but... He's on, he's on days also, and uh, I guess he wanted it. I saw the deer. I don't think I'm going to mess with that right now. Um, I'll, uh, I just want to kind of get going because we're just so overweight. And we're freezing. That's not good. But um, So I'm on day shift now, and uh, it makes recording a little bit more difficult. Because <laughs> uh, normally, whenever I'm awake, the whole house is awake. So... It's actually midday here. Um, I had court today. My mom is watching the little ones for a few hours, and uh, while I did, no, I did some chores, did court, and I figured, came home, started up some dinner, some fajitas in the slow cooker, and uh, decided to knock out an episode here real quick um, before I went and picked up the little ones. So, if you hear cars and motorcycles and things like, well, I doubt if there's going to be motorcycles. It's not that, not that warm out. But if you hear, wow, it's pretty nasty out here. It's starting to get pretty nasty. Yep. Oh, here it goes. The blizzard's setting in. We might have to go up to the uh, lighthouse just because of the blizzard. So we're going to move with a little bit more purpose here. Plus, we need to warm up. But uh, let me get in behind this rock. I should be in, though. There we go. Oh, it's only, only negative 13 degrees now. I wonder what it's going to be when I step out here. I don't think there's going to be a wolf out here. I'd be I'd be kind of shocked if there was. Because they tend to take cover to negative 57 degrees. That is cold. All right, we need to get up there. Ricky tick. And there is a way up here. Um, if the wolf is waiting for me here, we're just it's bad luck for us. But we have to get out of this blizzard. We really do. So, anyway, uh, luckily for us, on election day, our levy passed. So, this, the village manager said, is, if that passes, we're going to go hire, hire some officers. So, um, I hope maybe there's a fish in here, hopefully. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe this little storm was a blessing in the... Oh, what is that? Cold salmon raw. <laughs> blessing in disguise, guys. Blessing in disguise. Assuming we don't get hypothermia. So let's get up here and get inside. I hear, I hear doors shutting and things like that. Nobody around this neighborhood just shuts doors like normally. They have to like slam doors. Oh, I can't wait to actually live out in the country. One of these days. Tell you what, guys. When I do actually, when we actually get a house out in the in the country on some on some acreage, I'll make sure to uh, give you guys the grand tour. But it's gonna be a few years from now. I've got CRNA school to go through, so we're staying in staying in my old starter home back from 2002. That's a long starter home, home isn't it? But hey, you know what? It it's a cheap mortgage, and uh, we have uh, we're going to be in pretty good shape to uh, drop down to one income, which will be only my income while she's in Sierra in school. So, all right, let's get inside here. This is nasty. Things are getting nasty out there. Whew! Kind of wish I had hot chocolate in this game. That's what I'd be going for. All right, some more wood. I think I'll drop some of this wood here. I don't really need to be carrying that much back. Um, 
wood's not a issue, really. So let's drop a few of these. I think I'll drop six of them. There we go, that's better. Um, they're not really that heavy with the, with the uh, coal either. That Sam is really... What? Why is it ruined? Why is it ruined? Can I still... I'm going to try to cook it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to... I need some water anyway. A little bit low on water. I'm going to try to cook it. I don't get that. Feel not that one. That's the one I can get rid of. I want to get rid of that one. So I don't accidentally try to... So I don't mess it up in the future when I'm not thinking clearly. Let's give it a go. Oh, that's so disheartening. See a nice big salmon there sitting in the frozen snow. I mean, it's it's got to be completely frozen, right? And then find out it's ruined. That's so messed up, man. I could never really go down there and check that before because there was a patrol wolf there. Oh. Plus, we need to warm our bones up anyway, so this fire's going to serve us well here for a minute. I'm going to try to cook this same. I am going to try. All right, let's add a cedar firewood. There we go. Can I cook it? Let me try. Let's see what happens. Do I get 50% out of it? That's my thing. If it takes it up to 50%, that's great. All right, let's check. 50%! All right. Cool. We'll, keep, we'll hold on to that uh, for a little while. Wow, so even if it's ruined, take... Okay, learn something new. Learn something new every day, man. All right, let's make up a little bit of... I don't know. Let's make up about... I know it's... I know water's heavy. I know, I know. But we do need some water for, for the road here. We don't know how long we're going to be stuck in here anyway with this weather. Plus, it might not be bad just to uh, rest while we're here. Try to get our... Uh, condition a little higher because we got hit by uh, hunger and oh shoot that was dumb I just wasted a match oh I should just wow that's horrible <laughs> that was so dumb oh that was so stupid alright I guess I'm just going to hold on to that nasty water until I start another fire. I don't want to start another fire just to cook up that water. So we'll just hold on to that and not drink it. We'll stick to this if, if at all possible. So, alright. Well, let's go up here and, well, you know what? Let's read. That's our, we're a little bit winded. Let's do some reading here. Right. Am I hungry? Am I going to starve and miss? Yeah, I am. I'm too, too, too hungry to focus. So let's eat. Yeah, I don't want to eat that same. It's too early in the day for that. Maybe we can just eat a little bit of the salmon. Let's try that. There we go. 370 calories. There we go. I like that I can just eat a bit of it. That's nice. Thirsty. Did I get any credit for that? I did get one hour in. Okay. Um, man, I didn't think I was gonna. I was gonna use up a hole. There we go. All right, let's take another drink here. That should pretty much kill that water, unfortunately. And the uh, it's past. Oh man. 62% condition. A little bit winded. Nine hours of daylight left. I think if we need to go, if we're gonna go, we should go now. But. Part of me thinks maybe I should rest. I should probably rest a little bit here. Real quick. I know, it's only two hours. Not going to do much. Let's rest three. If I could get up to around 70% condition, I'd be much happier. That's close. That's close. All right, let's keep going. 15 days, 6 hours, 33 minutes. All right. I'll take one of those since I did use one here out of my backpack. And now I bet you the wolves are back out. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's all foggy-ish. All right, let's head on down here. See if we can uh, 
I'm just going to kind of skirt around the, the side here if at all possible. I don't really want to go, I don't want to go that way. I just sort of hop down here. I think I can make it. Yeah, I'll make it. Yeah, going down. More dangerous, but it's easier for me to go where I want to go. Alright, let's keep going here. Well, I'm happy about the salmon at least. Got a little bit of food. I really screwed up the water, though. That was dumb. Co completely lost track of how much time was left on the fire. I don't know what I was thinking about, but obviously I wasn't. My head wasn't in the right place. So yeah, the church didn't have anything really of note. I think what was there. I think I got some painkillers, maybe, out of the, uh, out of the, uh, there was a first aid kit there. There's a bunch of sticks out there, too, and some rose hips and some mushrooms. Got quite a bit of mushrooms in that area. That was it. So, my goal is to make it back to Jackrabbit Island. Before I bid you guys adieu. Oh, there's the wolf. Okay, see, I didn't, knew I didn't want to go that way. And in this mode, I just want to avoid the wolves like the plague. 67 degrees. Feels like 24. That's really not too hateful. Came over here, grabbed some... Uh, there was some, uh, oh, jeez, those rabbits freak me out, man. I keep thinking there's something completely different. Man, they freak me out. Oh, shoot. Oh, I can't run. Hold on, guys. Major bruising, that was it? Are you kidding me? I can't go that way. I don't want to go that way. He's running the way I want to go. I need to, holy crap, I need to go this way. Where did he come from? Oh, my God. I need to run this way because there's a truck here. And if he's running around like a pinball, he could bounce back and then sort of reset himself right next to me again. Major bruising. That was sh amazing. I can't believe that's all it. Oh my god. The pulse rate just shot up a, a lot. Oh, you just never know, man. What's my condition? 47. That's not good. Alright. I've already checked that. Oh, that's my... It's my go-to place if I have a chance to run, but man, he didn't give me much of a chance, did he? Alright, I really need a bedroll, man. That would open up my opportunities to uh, recover a lot, rather than have to find a place for with an actual bed. I could do, like, caves and things like that. Oh, man. Alright, so we're just going to try to make it through this as quick as possible with a firebrand. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll... I'll, uh, I'm not going to pick up this moss. I have tons of it already. I think it grows back. My God. I think I picked that already. Um, not percent sure, but I think I did. There's more over there, too. It's everywhere. All right, so I can't remember what I was saying. It's not been too important. So percent condition. Yeah, I definitely want to try to make the Jackrabbit Island if at all possible. Here's my old fire. <laughs> They're like, why'd you make a fire outside? You know you can make a fire inside. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Die if I don't get some Alright, so we're gonna make a fire here. Nice and warm here. Good. Um we need the we need the brand, or I could use a flare, but I think I want to use a flare for self-defense purposes, if at all possible. So and I'll purify this water when I when I make this fire. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I don't have any torches left. I don't even know why I'm carrying this around. It's pointless. It's just half a pound of weight that I don't need to carry. Yeah, I definitely need to cook up that water. 
And then we'll grab a firebrand out at the same time. So let's do that. Wood matches. I got lots of matches now. So that's pretty good. I've got like a decent amount. Pretty pretty good amount. Alright, let's cook up this book here. Cook up the water. Make sure I don't run out of uh, fire this time. Grab a firebrand out of there. Now, can I use a firebrand to start another campfire, if need be? I'm wondering. wonder if I could kind of daisy chain them along. I don't know. Be interesting. As long as you had enough tinder, you could just go along and pick up sticks the whole way and always have fire. Or unless something blew out your fire, of course. Right, let's, let's use one of these uh, cedar logs here. There we go. Let's cook this up. Oh no, let's boil it. Sorry. Shouldn't take an hour to boil. Should be about seven minutes per point two. Thereabouts. Alright. Um Got some rose hips. I can make a little tea out of that. I need some more water. Or no, I have plenty of water. Let's do another one of those. Let's do a rose hip tea. At risk for cabin fever. Oh. All right. Well, in that case, I think I'll do another point two gallons here. And then we're going to need to get going here. Unsafe water, let's cook that up. And then I'll add a stick so I can pull a brand out and we'll be done here. At all the I just got attacked by a wolf. I can't believe I'm uh, at risk for cabin fever. All right, there we go. Take a brand. All right, let's get going. Just try to make it through here as quick as possible. I think yeah, that's a gate. Okay, let's keep going this way. Winded, not too bad. Come on, bend over. There we go. <laughs> Hunch down there, please. There. Better. I would flip out if I saw a. If I saw a. Uh, Oh, what? Did I miss matches? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. What else did I miss? I'll take a coal. Apparently, I didn't search this area right here. So, let's do a quick search. Make sure I didn't miss anything crazy. Okay. I, apparently, I did partially search it. Okay. Make sure I didn't miss a bedroll. Yeah, so I would have had another video out for you uh, yesterday, yesterday night. Yesterday being Wednesday night, but it uh, didn't work out that way because of... Because of the uh, technical issues I caused. I really don't like the update, how it, how it kept almost every setting exactly the way it was supposed to be because I did go in and check I was like oh yeah they all look they're still there so uh there we go oh my cord was underneath my key that's probably why I was, I was having issues um but except they added a couple new settings which were left blank so I'm like oh god it's not even fair man all right I don't think we're gonna mess with these carcasses either well I'll grab some of those mushrooms though We can always come back and get those later. From coastal, they're not that far away, so no big deal. It feels like 23 degrees still, so let's just try to make it through here without getting eaten. And there it goes. Might as well drop it. Oh, we survived our first wolf attack, at least. There's one of the deer carcasses. Looks like a blizzard starting to set in. Which is not good for us. Is there anything here? I already checked this one, didn't 
pretty sure I did. Wait, there's something over there. Yeah. Wait, what is that? I don't know. It's just, just a little gra graphical glitch, it looked like. Ooh, if it's seven in there, it's going to be real cold out here now. Oh, negative 28. So I take it the weather's starting to get worse. Because in Interloper, the weather gets worse and worse more frequently. More and more frequently, so... I wonder how I'm feeling about cabin fever right now. You know? Would you rather be inside? Or you still want to be outside? You still want to really be outside of the cabin? Huh? Is that what you want mentally? Alright, let's get into this basement here. Warm up, because we are just bleeding off heat like crazy. Oh, there it is. Missed, it. Missed my turn. Missed my exit. Alright, let's get in here. The cold is making my head feel much better. All right, now if we did have a, uh, well, it's too bad if we had a, uh, we had a bedroll, we could actually rest, but we don't. Man, I would just be curling up on the floor. I don't need a bedroll. I don't need a bedroll to sleep, man. I don't need a bedroll to die. Why do I need one to sleep? All right, um, well, let's, let's read for an hour. Let's read for one more hour here. Yeah, I'm too hungry, so I need to eat a little something here. Right, let's eat a little more of that. You know what? I have to wonder if, because I was carrying this fish around, if that if that drew him and that wolf in on me like that. I bet you that's what happened. I better be extra careful when I go to coastal. Man, he burned a lot of calories reading. Jeez. Okay, is it still nasty? It sounds still like... Yeah, it's still pretty nasty. Let's eat a little bit more. Might as well just eat the rest of it, I guess. We'll be out here reading a little bit more. There we go. Not too bad. I'm getting a little tired. That's going to be an issue. I need to find a bed. I think I can sleep in a car, though. So if I can make it through here... I'll be able to make it to that car, but it might freeze to death in the car. That's the problem. Huh. Decisions, decisions. Let's do one more hour here. See that tired. That's starting to worry me. Sounds like it's dying. It's dying off there. But now it's going to be dark. Which makes everything a little more treacherous. But at least I'm not carrying around. At least I'm not carrying around. Raw meat. All right, let's get going here. Negative 15 degrees. Um, hopefully the blizzard's keeping the wolves away. All right, I think this is the road over here somewhere. There's the there's the deer. Obviously, I'm not going to try to go for that one. I wonder if I can sleep in a snow shelter without a bedroll. I don't know how that works. But we're back on the road, so... We should be able to make it at least to the car. Yeah, we should be almost off the connector here. Look at that. Look how cold I'm getting. Oh, it's negative 41 degrees. Oh, my God. I wish one of these cabins was still up. You know, both of them are... Or all of them are all burned down. All right, let's get out of here. Protected. Oh, it's protected, and it was negative forty-nine degrees. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, let me out of this hell. Leave crumbling highway. Yeah. My fingers feel numb. Okay. Uh, stopping at the car is not going to do any good whatsoever in this blizzard. Negative 13 degrees. Oh, that's much better. It's like it's like warm out here. 46%. Freezing, ravenous. Let's, let's just see how much we get from this car. Negative 22 degrees. 
17 degrees. Ooh, it's actually kind of warm. Can I set this chair on fire? That's what I want to do. All right, let's keep get going here. I've got no choice. I don't like my odds here. I have a feeling we might be meeting our maker in this one. Because this is a pretty... Am I leaving the road? I can't even tell which way the road goes. Uh. Oh, wait. I'm going the wrong way. I immediately start heading back. That was my bad. I might actually just go for the... Uh, there's like a... There should be a house over here to the right. Um, so I don't have to cross blindly across the, uh, the ice to Misanthrop's Island. There is no fireplace in there. I'm not too worried about that because it should be warm enough. I am worried about catching hypothermia. I think we're going to catch hypothermia in this one. Man, the weather just got real bad. Being attacked by a wolf didn't help either. We're gonna have to lick some wounds here. Getting really tired too. Alright, I'm about ready to just take this road all the way into all the way into the village. If I can make it there. I hope I can. I know, I should have dropped that maple sapling to cure a little bit more. But I completely forgot. I think these are all... Those are all burned out over there. Now I think they're... I can't tell where to turn, though, to head up. I know there's a house up there somewhere, but I'm going to make a wrong turn by just blindly guessing. You know? I just want to get into the village. I know this road will take me to, to safety. The question is, can I make it there? My clothes are going to be knackered after this, too. I'm going to have to definitely do some repairs if I can get myself back up to 100%. Come on. Go away. Go away, Blizzard. Negative 53 degrees for the night. Tired, hungry. I'm going to eat something just so I'm not getting hammered on my condition too hate, hate badly, you know what I mean? So my condition's dropping at a, at a slower rate, at least. Just gutting this one out right here. It looks like it's lifting, but gosh darn, it's still horrible. And I know there's a house up there somewhere. I just can't judge my distance. Well, this is one way to get into the village. If there's if there are wolves out in this blizzard, I am just done. I'm screwed. Game set match, man. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Freezing, exhausted, hungry. Get there. Well, I tried to go off in fair weather, but a storm came out of nowhere and I didn't really have much choice. I would have had to retreat all the way back to yeah, the lighthouse in order to find a bed. And, you know. Oh, well. It is what it is. We're, I think we're getting close here. It feels like we're getting real close. So we're either going to get 
to safety or we're going to get attacked by wolves and die. If they happen to be out, in the, if they're crazy, if those are some crazy wolves that go hunting in this weather, then they just, they deserve to, to kill me. Congratulations, wolves. I'm just waiting for a Widowmaker to fall on me, my gosh. Coastal town site, all right. Let's get inside, there, I see salvation. Oh my gosh, how bad are our clothes going to be? How badly be beaten down are they going to be? Get inside. What's the temp in here? 47, thank you, Lord. Alright, let's just get back here. Get this fire going. Do I even need to fire? Hold on, let me think. I don't think I even need the fire. I just need to get into bed. Alright, let's go ahead and um, eat and drink. So I'll have some beans here. Work. I need uh, 750 calories, and we'll sleep for 10. That's 600. That's pretty good. So I will have one more, one of these cattails. That should do it there. Perfect. Get a little bit of a drink here. All right. Start to warm up. Let's um, let's get some rest here. 10 hours. And I'll see you guys in the morning. We're at 22% health. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the rest really helps. Look at that. Look at how fast these blizzards are coming. There's like a one hour blizzard right there. 54% health. Much better. Let's get something to drink. Alright, I'm feeling much better about my chances. Wow, I can't believe we survived that. Honestly, I thought I was going to die in that one. Wow, another whetstone. <laughs> Well, oh! Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Anything, right thank you so much for watching. And thank you out there to... Man, I really need to know... Remember his name. Um, left me a 20... Well, left me a $20 tip in the tip jar. That was amazing. So thank you. Uh, you know who you are. So thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, thanks to all the Patreon... Uh, pledgers out there that uh, they, they really does make a difference so thank you if you do want to become a patreon pledge uh, producer head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurate too I'll see you guys in the next episode maybe we can cheat death yet one more time and I'll try to make sure that my mic microphone's recording too y'all take care Here